All right, you guys, I've drank the clever Kool-Aid. And I'm going to very quickly show you why you should drink this Kool-Aid too. Grape, cherry, it's all the same, whatever flavor, whatever flavor. Here we go. So I'm going to show you how to create your Clever account. So if your district sent you an email that had a link inside of it, what you're going to need to do is click on that link. Or you can just go to the Clever webpage. So my district sent me a link here. And I'm just going to open it up. You're going to see me looking to the side. I have a computer over here where I have written down the directions so that I don't mess myself up halfway through this video. All right. So here's all we're going to do. We are here in the Clever account. See how it says clever.com. And I'm just going to type in my email address. Okay, of my institution. And then I'm going to say, I don't know how to log into my account. So I clicked get help logging in. Now it says login help. I'm just going to click teachers and staff password reset. I'm going to click it. So if my email address has had an account set up through Clever through my school, then when I type in that I have forgotten my email, I'm going to be sent an email to reset my password. So I put in my email. I'm going to press send. Okay, if a matching account was found, an email was sent to allow you to reset your password. And if you just heard that ding in the background, that means an email has just been sent to my account to reset my password. So there it is, Clever Password Reset. There it is. I'm just going to click Reset Your Password. Okay, and here I am. I'm going to set up my password. to be very purposeful. As you guys know, if we mess this up, then you gotta keep retyping until they're the same. Okay, then you just click change password. And here I go, I'm creating my Clever, opening it up for me. And I'm about to show you why the Clever Kool-Aid is awesome, y'all, I'm about to show you. Here we go, it's loading, the anticipation. Okay, so here we are in your Clever account. And here's why you should use Clever, and here's why it's awesome. So I can see the things that my district has preloaded for me. See how there's like different sections and it's all been preloaded? Okay, so I can click on things. See favorites right here? Now let's say that I'm not using Class Dojo, so I don't want it to be a favorite of mine. I can unclick this heart and it moves it down. If I don't want Office 365 to be a favorite, I just unclick the heart. Okay, so now let's say that I want Canvas to be a favorite because I'm using it all the time. I click the heart and look where it goes. It goes straight to favorites. Now here's what's nice. I can click on these apps inside this Clever account and it will take me directly to that web page. And now you're saying to me, but Miss Bailey, I already have everything bookmarked in my computer. What do I need Clever for? Oh, contrary PIR, here's why this is awesome. Because now when you log on to a different computer and you don't have all your passwords saved, you can go to clever.com and navigate to those web pages that you always use and your passwords are saved from there. So it is allowing you to log in from any computer and to have the ease to log into those different accounts from one place instead of having to have everything bookmarked and your password saved on that particular computer, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's why this is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go to Canvas. Okay, it's opening from Clever. Okay, and there's my Canvas account. All right, so I'm able to navigate to websites from Clever. And again, what makes this so great is that Sorry, my Zoom keeps pulling down the little bar at the top. But what makes this so great is that I am navigating from one place and I can do this on any computer just by going to clever.com instead of, instead of having to have things bookmarked. Now, let me show you how to add items to your Clever that you want to bookmark for later. So if you notice, there's a whole lot of websites that a teacher uses on a daily basis that aren't already preloaded. So I'm going to go up here to just you. And these are different websites that I'm using, maybe teaching my students, that I want to add to my Clever account. So I go to just you. Do you see this green plus add button here? So I go to add. Now I go to link. Okay, I could also do PDFs. There's some options here, but I'm going to go to link. And then I 
I can connect a web page in my Clever so that I don't have to continue trying to find that web page. If you've ever had the annoying experience of not being able to exactly remember the title of the web page, then you're having to find it over and over again, this would eliminate that time waster. So I just have to go to the web page itself. So let's make sure I'm sharing the screen with you that I'm showing you now. Yes, I am. Okay, so let's say that I want to save this uh, digital resource for this online book. Okay, so I was on Clever moments ago. I had clicked Add. Now I go to the web page. I'm just going to copy the URL at the top, copy it. I'm going to go back to my Clever, and I'm just going to paste the URL into where it says paste link here. Now I'm going to title this. I'm going to say Norton Books, okay, because that's what's over there. And the only thing I don't like about this is the limited app pictures because there's not many options. And what if I want to add more than just this number of options? and it doesn't leave me a whole lot of diversity in my app pictures. Okay, but I said it's gonna be called Norton Books, and I click the little book here, and I click Add Link. It's adding it, and now what you see is it has added this Norton Books link to my account. So let's say that I wanted to add, I'm gonna link, let's say I wanna add the um, resource that I use for grading and attendance. So, Let's say I'm going to put an infinite, infinite campus here. So maybe you're using a different system. There's all kinds of systems out there. Okay, so I can just go to my Clever. So I pulled up the web page. I'm going to go to my Clever. Okay, remember what I do? So I said I wanted to add. I'm going to do it again so you can see it. So I go down to the add with a green button with a plus. I click it. I say I want a link. Now I've got to get the URL from the web page, and this is just an example, okay? So this is not necessarily the exact URL for your school district, but I'm just going to copy the URL. I go back to Clever. I paste it where it says paste link here. I paste it, and then the link name, I'm going to title it, and then I've got to pick a little picture for it. So this is my grading system. I'm, I don't know what you want to use there, and then I just click add link. So now it has successfully, so watch this. When I click it then, it navigates me to the web page. So it is like a way to very quickly find all your web pages in the same place. So now I'm going to go back to that initial Clever home page. Okay, so notice here you have some different options inside of your Clever account. You could share with all your students. So if I wanted to add a link to like Purdue OWL, because that's something that I'm always using as a language arts teacher, 